Hey Sagittarius, what's going on? This is your dope astrologer and tarot reader back with another reading. This is for the Sagittarius Collective. It's not a personal reading, so take what applies and let the rest fly. We have a new moon in Scorpio that is happening now. Sagittarius, you are right next to Scorpio. So right now it's Scorpio season. And then after that, it's Sagittarius season. So you are on the other side of whatever needs to be transformed. Maybe you made a change. Maybe you thought that you had transformed something. And so you could be wondering, you know, or thinking, did you make the right decision? New Moon is about manifesting. It's about setting intentions. It is about um, being really open and honest about what it is that you want. And so with this New Moon in Scorpio, Scorpio energy is about power and control. It's about change. It's about transformation. Um, so you are being forced Either you're going to choose to do this or you're going to be forced to change the way you feel about something or someone in order to get the stability and success that you want in life in a particular area. So Sagittarius with you, bottom of the deck, queen of swords with you, this energy is in your 12th house. The 12th house deals with secrets. Scorpio is the sign of privacy private matters, um, our sexual partners. So you could be, you know, really going through a mental turmoil. Maybe you're playing things over and over in your head, trying to figure out if you made the right decision or not. Trying to, trying to, uh, you know, trying to decide if you transformed the right thing. Some of you are having an issue with letting go of a previous person, a previous way of life, a previous way of doing things. And it's hard for you to let that go. Um, what you are needing to bring stability and security to and build on is your money situation. Some of you are sitting on million dollar ideas but you haven't acted on it. Some of you are spending a lot of time thinking about it, hoping and wishing. The 12th house is about dreams. You could have like prophetic dreams. You know, you could have had like a, a, a very inspirational thought or a, a, a money making idea a couple of years ago and you're still sitting on that idea. Bottom of the deck, like I said, Queen of Swords, overall energy for you right now is you got to cut something out. You've got to stop thinking a certain way. You've got to be more strict with yourself. You have to be more realistic with yourself. And so with Capricorn and Pluto or Pluto and Capricorn, rather, being in your second house, you have something that you've been thinking about, that you've been dreaming about, that can really change your financial future. It can give you financial stability. It can bring you uh, financial freedom. What could be getting in the way of that is your job or whatever it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that's getting in the way. Some of you, you're not being consistent. You're not setting up a routine. You need to take on more of the Scorpio, not Scorpio energy. You need to take on more of the Virgo energy, <coughs> which is the hermit. And it's in reverse right here. This is someone who you keep going back to what is comfortable. It's not really serving you. You are not really taking care of what's important. You are... Um, some of you could be very spiritual, but you spend a lot of time in the 5D. You spend a lot of time meditating and you're not bringing whatever it is that you're thinking about here on earth. 
you're not grounded. You're not following your intuition. You're dreaming, you're hoping, you're praying. And the only thing that you have to do is just move and get out of the way and set um, set a schedule, set a routine and be consistent. So for a lot of you, that's what's getting in the way. You've done something for so long that you don't know, you don't know anything else. The sun here is Leo energy, page of swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This thing that you want is attainable. This type of relationship that you want is attainable. Some of you are just going about it the wrong way as far as the way that you're trying to pursue it or go after it. You're not saying the right things. You're not thinking business minded. Some of you are thinking too much with your heart. You're not being logical. Some of you, you need to, you've done enough research on whatever it is that you're trying to do. Some of you, you need to use your creativity, which is the sun, to manifest this. You've done enough research. You've done enough training. You need to do it. Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords in reverse. Some of you, you're lying to yourself. You're not being honest. You're betraying yourself. There could be a little bit of embarrassment because some of you know that you could have accomplished this years ago. Some of you know that you could have did this months ago. Some of you are still hung up on a love situation that just didn't work out. You're dealing with someone who's battling their own demons. What is this hermit about? Yeah, the lovers clarifying the hermit. Gemini energy. You could have been dealing with someone who they're already in a toxic ass relationship or they were. Or that's all they saw growing up and they took it out on you. They have their own demons and their own issues. This person may not have been very vocal when it came to the way they felt about you. They could have been very closed off. This person could have like did a lot of gaslighting, like, you know, making you feel like you were not the one you were not good enough and for some of you that has really taken a toll on your confidence it's like you you you're trying to like wait for someone to give you the okay to be great a sagittarius you're already great you don't need permission you don't need no more research you don't need no more training a lot of you are trying to do something that you're gifted in like you have a natural gift for this. You don't need nobody else to show you anything. <coughs> you need to follow your intuition and get it done. What obstacles are you dealing with right now? You're still hurt over the lack of communication or cooperation from someone. Um, you could be waiting for someone to help you. Some of you, this is giving me the energy of someone who just doesn't, you're looking at the big picture and then you start looking at all the things that you have to do yourself. And it's like really making you stagnant. So you don't do anything. Some of you don't even ask for help because it's you don't want to like burden anyone with whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever it is that you're trying to create, because you're so overwhelmed at the thought of this that you don't want to overwhelm anyone else. You don't want to ask for help. What 
The outcome is the King of Cups in reverse, Pisces energy. Being stuck. Because you're being too methodical, you're, you're thinking about it too hard. You need some network. You need to get out and associate with like-minded people. A Leo could be significant. Leo is heavy here. You could have Leo in your chart. You may need to meet someone. To get you out of this energy that you're in. Yeah, there needs to be a shakeup. <clears throat> Some of you, my more spiritual Sagittarius is out there. You need to do some type of uh, spell or ritual on yourself as far as like willpower and motivation and stop putting that into love spells for someone who's not talking to you. Or just in love in general, like how can you attract the right person for you and you're not happy because you're not where you want to be in life? You got to be what you want to attract right now. A lot of you are in this king of cups in reverse energy. You're not emotionally stable. You act and react based on emotion. A lot of you are so hurt and so triggered that you take a lot of shit personally. Um, you, you're not cool and calm. And your head is all over the place. You need to calm the fuck down <laughs> and find out what it, whatever it is to like motivate you to get this going. Some of you, and I'm going to repeat this. Some of you have like a million dollar idea, but you're not doing anything with it. What is this two of swords about? Yeah, you want somebody to come back. You want a happily ever after with someone. And it could be that once you start operating at your highest vibrational frequency, that this person may come back because they're thinking about the connection. You got to get out of this unhappiness that you're feeling. And if this is not about a love situation, you don't like your current job. You don't like what you do every day. But you, for some reason, you feel that you don't have the power and control to change it. And you do. Scorpio energy is about power and control and taking over something. Controlling it. Manipulating it. And it's like you've given your power away almost with these cards. It's like some it's almost like with this right here, somebody has to you have to see someone doing what you want to do. And then you're going to be like, oh, I can do it better than he can. I can I can I'm 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 better at that than she is. And that's what's going to motivate you. But it really shouldn't be like that. Because then it's, it's more competition and not doing it for your own personal enjoyment and fulfillment it's like you're trying to prove something to someone and some of you you could be in a situation where you you feel like you got to prove that you are like a good person to someone or something like that yeah all right let's draw some cards for this person that you're thinking about that's on your mind Sagittarius I hope you are well I hope you are safe give me a thumbs up if this has resonated so far and also don't forget to click that subscribe button this is a new channel I'm trying to grow your support is very much appreciated so what's going on with this person that you're thinking about Sagittarius
what's going on with them. Nine of Pentacles, overall energy. This is Taurus energy. This is about being happy, <coughs> content, having money. Um, not necessarily being in a relationship, but just, you know, having uh, someone or a partner that you're happy with. So let's see. How do you feel? You feel like this person may have juggled you or they are juggling you. Maybe they're like juggling with their emotions or the magician here. They could be a Virgo or a Gemini. They are juggling as far as, you know, communicating with you. Maybe you haven't heard from this person. <coughs> Excuse me. And you go back and forth about communicating with them, reaching out to them. Maybe you hope that they are doing that when it comes to you. Like, should I reach out to Sagittarius? You feel that some of you feel like your person is like, It's some of you are like, why haven't I manifested this person? And some of you feel like it's because they keep going back and forth, you know, weighing the, the pros and the cons of reaching out to you. How do they feel about you? Okay. Hangs one, death in reverse, king of pentacles in reverse. Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus. How do they feel? I feel like there's a little bit of a, a facade here. What's this facade about? Like they're not being truthful and honest about something. That they want a new beginning. They want to start over even. If you haven't talked to this person, they think about you just as much as you think about them, but they don't. I think they do a good job or a better job at hiding how they feel. They haven't let you go they ha or they haven't let the situation go. They have like a twisted view about what happened between the two of you. They could feel like you were not being honest. You you were being fake and phony. Excuse me. They do want to see or there there is an interest here to they do wonder how far the two of you could go. But it's like they either they were they're being fake or they feel like you're being fake. Why do they feel like that? Nine of Pentacles. So this person could see that, you know, you're happy, you're doing your thing, at least, you know, maybe online or, you know, maybe you've ran into this person or maybe they just assume that you're OK because, you know, you're happy without them because you haven't talked to them. I feel like this person is making a lot of assumptions about you, Sagittarius. This also, this person, they could have money. They could have success as far as their career. This person may be lonely as hell. This person may um, just, they're a homebody. Let's see. What's the mutual feelings between the two of you? What are the mutual feelings? Well... Knight of Wands in reverse. This is your energy. So this is, um, they feel both of y'all are not moving towards the other. What else? But there's still hope. There's still a sense of wanting this to be renewed some kind of way. Um, the, the two of you could also feel like this is like a spiritual connection. An Aquarius could be significant here. Or this is like someone just trying to manifest some type of action. 
What's the outcome? Someone being mad that there's still no communication is the outcome. Queen of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse. This is also someone who is, someone feels like they're owed an apology and or someone feels like someone is not taking accountability for this or someone is just being like dramatic about what happened. What is this about? Okay. On the other side of that, there's victory and an opportunity to have victory. Someone needs to like stop the madness. What's the obstacle? Okay, Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands in reverse. When someone thinks back to this connection, it's like, okay, do I want to go back to some bullshit or do I just stay by myself? Some of you are dealing with someone who feels like commitment is a burden that they don't want to bear right now. Like it's too stressful. Um, or some of you, you're dealing with someone, they got a lot going on right now. What is this about? A lack of movement, a lack of communication. Someone could be blocked or again, there's no communication here. Yeah, I feel like someone, they just, the thought of commitment is just, they don't want to give up their freedom. They don't want to give up their options, choices, um, or it, even if they don't have any options, because I feel like for the most part, this person stays to themselves, um, their self rather. It's like something about this connection just doesn't sit right or the commitment a Leo could be involved. Some of them, they're they got a lot going on with their children or um, they're going back and forth with the father or mother of their child. As far as the next action that they take towards you is the tower in reverse. They don't want to rock the boat with you. And I feel like that's why they're not reaching out to you. I feel that there was something like really, there was like a bad falling out the two of you had. And they're just like, let me not rock the boat. Let me just stay away from that for right now. This person got a lot going on. Whatever it is, they're stressed out. Could be over, could re deal with their kids. Mm. Whatever this is, they're like waiting for it to be over. And I hate to trigger anybody. I feel like there could be a pregnancy scare here. Not a lot of you. What's this tower in reverse? <clears throat> the lovers. Yeah, they could be already with someone for some of you. What is this about?
some of them they don't want to argue they feel like if they do reach out it's going to be a big argument high priestess in reverse pisces energy there's some type of um secret that they don't want you to know I really feel like there could be this person could be dealing with a pregnancy scare or there's something going on with their child. They don't this is whatever they're going through right now is stressful enough. And the and the thought of like trying to like talk to you, reconcile with you right now, they're just not feeling it right now. And it's like, let me not. I don't want another tower moment with Sagittarius. Um. I'm a stick to the relationship that I'm in or I'm just going to accept the current situation between me and Sagittarius. I'm not going to rock the boat. There's some shit that's going on in my life right now and I don't really want to talk about it. Pisces season coming up could be significant. What's your advice? Karma, justice, you're waiting on karma. Don't wait on it because it will happen. Some of you feel like your manifestation isn't going to happen. It will. Excuse me, a Libra could be significant. Queen of Swords in reverse, yeah. Whoever that um, cut you off or is not talking to you. So this person, I feel, will come around. It's just not going to be right now. And when they do, they may tell you, man, I was messing with this chick and she thought she was pregnant or I thought I was pregnant or, you know, I was going through it with my baby mama, or baby daddy or something like that. Or I lost my job and they put me on child support. They were talking about locking me up with the tower. And the high priestess. I had to play nice with my baby mama so she wouldn't um, take me to court. You, you just never know. Let me draw some romance angel oracle cards. I hope this has been helpful. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There could be an engagement here with your person. Especially if you haven't talked to this person in a while. But I don't think so because I don't feel like this person, if they are in a commitment or in a relationship, it ain't really... I don't see it lasting. I definitely don't see an engagement. So maybe this is the two of you engage, getting engaged in the future or, you know, you all are on a better, um, on better terms in the future. I don't, I mean, I could, I don't feel, whoever I'm reading, I don't feel like this person is engaged attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully for me i feel like that's telling you to get out the house and meet new people getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens get to know people i feel like when this person when they are ready to reach out to you it's like you'll have to get get to know each other all over again what else and then I'm going to close this out you deserve love you are lovable yeah this person could have made you feel like you were asking for too much or honeymoon Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. In the future, you may go out with this person, go out of town with this person. Um, 
or any pages here sun some of you could be meeting someone new i don't feel that's for the great majority of you though past life relationship you have known each other before yeah didn't i say like the two of you could feel like the two of you there's like a spiritual connection here yeah past life relationship so Sagittarius, I know that was a lot. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, but yeah, that's your reading. I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.